Thousands are expected to gather in Finsbury Park this afternoon for a bit of midsummer madness. Ken Andrew explains. They had a unique sound and made some of the best pop videos. Now, six years after madness split up, the Magnificent Seven ride again. <laughs> Tempted back by the success of their compilation album issued earlier this year, the group will tonight play before a sellout 32,000 crowd at Finsbury Park. Has their continued popularity been surprising? Very, 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 very surprised. Yep, I have, yeah. Sorry, I'm over here. Sorry, I'm back. Um, yeah. Um, you know, I was surprised when I saw all our hits on one compilation record, how many there were, you know, because you don't kind of go along counting them all up. You do them, you know, and three month periods and then when you know now it's six years and you look back on them all and, and all the videos and then you know in the interest in this concert yeah it's been very surprising there's one more concert at finsbury park tomorrow and behind the scenes there's even talk of more madness in the future ken andrew lwt news finsbury park finally our man ken andrew is there now ken Anna Maria, Midsummer Madness in Finsbury Park. This is one of the most eagerly awaited reunion concerts of this year so far, and one of the least expected, because Madness last played together about six years ago. Everyone thought they'd heard the last of them, but now the band have decided to come back, and many of their old favourites will be brought to life tonight. They were one of the most original groups of the 80s with a distinctive sound and look. But after continuing chart success, the group ran out of steam and finally split up in 1986. Earlier this year, a compilation album enjoyed huge success and the public demand for a reunion was strong. Were they surprised by their continuing popularity? Very, 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 very surprised. Yep, I have, yeah. Sorry, I'm over here. Sorry, I'm back. Um, yeah. Um, you know, I was surprised when I saw all our hits on one compilation record, how many there were, you know, because you don't kind of go along counting them all up. You do them, you know, in three-month periods. And then, when, you know, now it's six years, and you look back on them all and, and all the videos. And then, you know, in the interest in this concert, yeah, it's been very surprising. Tonight's 32,000 tickets were rapidly sold out. Another gig was hurriedly arranged for tomorrow. The question on many lips here, could madness reform permanently? You know, I don't have to foresee us doing anything else together, but I don't, on the other hand, count it out entirely. God, I could become a politician if I wanted to. <laughs> so, a definite maybe there from Sugs. Now, about tomorrow's concert, there are still something like 2,000 tickets left. They've been held back deliberately, but they're only going to be on sale at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, and you'll have to get along very quickly because they'll be snapped up very, very quickly. Also on the bill, another old favourite, Ian Turing, the Blockheads, and Morrissey, so a good old time will be had if you get down here to Finsbury Park at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning with your sunglasses on. Anna Maria. Thank you, Ken. Madness reformed this weekend on home soil for two farewell concerts in front of an estimated 30,000 fans. Instead of the ska band warm-up the crowd wanted, Gallon Drunk, Flowered Up, Ian Jury and the Blockheads and Morrissey opened the show, but all met with a rather tepid reaction, except Gallon Drunk, who had to avoid the missiles thrown at them, and Morrissey, who tried to ignore the verbal abuse and less than friendly gestures. In fact, Morrissey voted with his feet and decided not to perform on the Sunday. Here's a look at what they call madness. You better start to move your feet to the rockiness, rock steady beat of madness. One step beyond! Madness mania, isn't it? Look at it. My commitment, you're an embarrassment. This is young and old, like, they play such catchy tunes. Everybody loves Madness. Even the youngsters. I mean, it was a pretty unsatisfactory way the group fizzled out in the first place, because we never played a final concert or, um, or really decided we were going to split up. It just kind of happened. So, um, you know, whether if we never play again, it, this certainly would be a fine culmination, of, you know, of what the band was. And, um, you know, for us and for the people who came. It's going to sound like Bono. I didn't think much of the first band, admittedly. 
gallon drunk I've never heard of. Yeah. Oh, I'm a standing target. I was inviting it. And if they are uh, like the Barbary ape, Luddite, moron contingent that they seem to be, then I'm quite happy to throw things at me, really. <laughs> What can you do? Just jump in. but they look a bit lost so someone came up with about the fourth song and said there's people being coshed down there they're being coshed I thought coshed coshed you knew down there they forgot on the S off the front of it it meant squash squash which was manageable but um, was a bit disconcerting yeah but I mean, that's just those big things, like people always get squashed and that's just the way it is. There's a couple of men there shoveling pound notes into mail bags. And uh, someone's polishing my flip-flops and packing my sun oil. And I'll be off to the... Uh, Thank you. 